I in focus here? Am I in focus there? Am I looking okay? Everything looks fine and dandy here. You know, sometimes I build these things at night and I can't tell if that's supposed to be dark blue or is it brown. Anyway, I'll probably change that up later. Close it here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Did I get it. Oh no, it's opening back up. Don't go. Don't open. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty. And yes, brand new from Zing Bao. Ooh, I just finished the silk shop. Did you guys enjoy that review? So this one just dropped a couple weeks ago. There's a set of three. I just picked one randomly to build and I was pleasantly surprised. This is actually pretty good. Did they improve compared to the last ones? I don't know, let's check it out. This is Zing Bao's Chinatown series, The Roadhouse or Hotel Hostel in XB01022, 3,046 pieces. Spin it around for you guys. Look how beautiful this looks. In my opinion, after building this, I feel like they refined it quite nicely. I like how the outside here on the front is all super tiled. Yes, not super tiled, but tiled. You know, it does have some flaws, but let's check it out. One thing I noticed about the Roadhouse too is the tiles here, like they kind of look old. They look kind of scratched up. I was hoping to be more new looking, but that's okay. It's an old tiled Roadhouse, who cares? It's actually all tiled on all four sides. And then you got this nice bright red with a little bit of gold into the entrance here with the two double doors and the doors are secured. They will not fall off on you. I like the little lanterns here and I like how they use the Technic pieces to actually like kind of extend out the tassels, is that what they're called? Little things that hang down from the lantern. And I like how they put the little rotation pieces on the door itself. And they use like the other piece for the backside to support the door together. It's a really cool idea. Would have never thought of that. I can't build myself worth squat, but I like the imagination there. Doors open fine, they open and close fine. They're a little bit hard to close. I have to kind of like put my fingernail or open it from the inside and try to close it here and try to push this back. You gotta use your fingernails to close the sucker. The sign above the door is actually the name of this hotel and it's called Man Fuk. That's a Chinese name, it has no translation. And it's exactly the same sign that you see on the street sign that is outside here. I really like the printing on that. New, new printing stuff. I haven't seen this before. Interesting stuff going on here. And over here on the side, right there, is a stable for your horse. Even the little horsey can drink water from there. That's pretty cool, man. I like how they put that in there. Yes, a horse stable. I've always wanted one. A little horsey can come inside, get in there, and he's gonna drink a little bit of water. Drink water, boy. Let's just keep moving on. To the side here, I like the staircase. Different, I haven't seen it built like that. The railings can be a little bit loose because they're not really connected together. Not all of them anyway. There's enough for the mini viewers to kind of run around. Another printing here on the side. This is like the flaps, like no door there. It just goes right in. So on the side, we got this wall here. Now what's really interesting is just like the silk house, they did that same thing where it's like comes into the side, but they managed to secure this wall pretty good. It's not totally 100% secure. You can probably see it protrude a little bit here. Like it does kind of stick out there. It's not gonna really pop out, not like the other set. Just ignore one of these pieces. This one I think is kind of slightly discolored. No, maybe I gotta bleach that, who knows. And here, along with the edge here, the roofing, very simple to put on. And I actually really love the gold design here of this little arches that kind of stick out. That's really cool. So the great thing is that it's modular, but let's just take this off here from the rooftop. Really easy, just take it from the sides here. Look at that. The rooftop's a lot easier to build this time too. Not so many crazy little pieces. Minor flaw, it's so small on the second floor, it's really hard to get your hands inside. We're gonna come back to that later. Pull it up, take it off. There it is. And here is the first floor. And you come in fully tiled. There's not a lot of patterns going on. It's plain, but hey, they tiled it. Yeah. This is the entrance to the hotel, I guess. Yeah, there's the lobby. Old school style lobby. You got some boxes along the top. Got some containers there and have some keys there. Those must be the hotel room keys. This, by the way, is alcohol. Yeah, time to get your drink on. You got the little register there where the, the staff works and it has one single stud so you can fit one minifigure right inside. Cool. It's kind of hard to put your fingers inside if you want to get in there. You might drop a table or a chair. Man, good luck trying to pick that up. Look, I actually had to tear down the wall to show you guys some of these shots. I hope it's worth it, man. I got to put this all back together again after this. Then on this side, you got like a little dining room area. I guess that's like the cafe area, even though it only fits three people in there. Oh, my hands look terrible there. Just want to show you guys like the table here is a little bit different than the technique that they use. I thought that was pretty interesting. So you have to be careful when you put it down on the stud, but that's pretty cool how they did that. They kind of cheated in some places where they put like these long plastic 
pieces. I don't know what those are called. What's interesting is they have a little groove there. It actually looks like a shell. I thought, oh, this actually kind of makes sense here. Whoa, will you look at that? It's a picture of a horsey. Really couldn't see it with my own eyes until I zoomed in on it with this lens. So in the back is a little entryway and that's where the flaps were that you saw earlier. And inside there, it's just a little table with a little statue with that duck on steroids again. So I guess this is the first hotel room. Now all the beds for all the rooms are exactly the same except for one. They redesigned it so the minifigure can sit on the bed. You'll see that soon. But the shape of it, it's old school style. I like it. I think it really matches this theme. And you got a little table there and a little light lantern there on the side. The printing for these tiles are really cool. They're brand new. I haven't seen them before. This one's like bamboo trees. Oh, there's a little dresser there with a little flower pot. And I was actually laughing at the little pot, the cauldron in there. That's got to be the bathroom. That's where you go pee pee, man. I was gonna say, there's no bathroom in here, and there's no bathroom in the other sets. You could correct me if I'm wrong. Here's the second floor, look at that. The second floor was actually really awesome to build. I had a lot of fun doing it before the walls went in. Once the walls went in, I was like, oh, it's really tight inside, man. If I go like that, you can see, looks like nothing inside from this angle. So on the second floor, there are two hotel rooms, and they're both identical. And on this one side, you got, like I said, the same bed as downstairs. We got a little dresser there, the little crazy elixir type drink there. Some tea on the table, I guess. And those lampshades are interesting. I've never seen that kind of design before. So on the other room here, I put a little minifigure in there already. You can kind of see him. The monk, yeah, check him out. So they made this bed slightly different because they put studs there so you can actually sit your minifigure inside the bed. If you wanted the bed to be completely flat, well, they don't actually have those spare pieces for that part. So you're stuck with a stud there. At least they changed it up a little bit. And you have a different dresser here. And I like the hooks here on the side because now he has this crazy magical staff on one side. He has a bag on the other side. Unfortunately, that bag is kind of loose. It doesn't really fit on the hook, right? You're always gonna have to take off the wall to adjust that or, you know, find maybe a bigger bag for him and put it there. It's still a nice touch though. I like this idea. And you got another stool right behind here. There's a stool he can sit down and do some meditation, I guess. And there's a little hat hanging on the wall. And if we go outside, there's a little balcony area here that the minifigures can totally hang out. Two lanterns here, and more of those printings along the top there. You see the printing? It's pretty cool. It's really neat. It's just like a flower pattern there. You know, it's just neat because it's something different for me, and I haven't seen that before. And it makes me excited to build this thing. Underneath the windows here, you have like this other type of window that's covered up by this orange tile. That's kind of like a nasty orange. I don't know why they covered it up. Yeah, these things, man, took them out. And just so you guys can see, that's what it looks like underneath. That shit looks pretty okay without them, to be honest with you. Though, at least you have a choice. This side's actually really loose. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Did I do something wrong there? The technique for building is totally different. I've never seen this before. So it's really easy to slot the rooftop on here, if I go like that. But so easy to take off and on without worry. The rooftop, whoa, look at that. It uses those little wrench fork pieces to snap in the rooftop. That might be a little bit tricky. So what you want to do is you want to move these gold things out of the way, like kind of just twist them out of the way and then slot everything in and then readjust it back. But thank goodness, these are really big pieces. They're not as crazy as putting on those little cheese slopes for the other set. I like the color of the dark green with the light green there and look of the gold on there. It just looks really nice. It doesn't look like it's overkill. So if I had to really nitpick about the set, second floor is completely crammed in there. Try to get your finger inside there. It's so hard to like put all the little pieces and stuff. So, you know, you might as well just take the wall off to put things inside. This part of the rooftop is really flimsy if I just, you know, go like that. There you go. You just have to be gentle with it here. But once you know you put the rooftop in this area, it's actually pretty okay. It's just flimsy once you push down on here. Didn't like that part. Most of the rooftop parts can adjust, by the way, up and down. They look like little cannons. Ready, set, fire. All right, now let's jump into the minifigures. Yes, so we got some minifigures here. John Howard. John, you got the most amazing backpack. It even has a cover to block the sun from hitting you. He may be a traveler, I'm not sure, but that is so cool. You got this guy with a black flowing long hair with a sword by his side. He's holding it backward. I don't know why he's here or what he's doing. And this is Jergath, there you go, with his sword. And I think these are the two staff members here. These guys must be working at the hotel. Printing is just fine to me, I like the colors. And this is Puppet Guy. I, d I like the do-rag on you, man. It actually looks pretty good. Now go clean that stable. And you got this guy, he's probably working behind the register, and that is Jim43. Thank you for liking all the videos. And there you are, working in the hotel. And then you got the monk who's just chilling in his hotel room. I like the printing on the monk, actually. He's got the beads there, it's actually pretty cool, and the colors and everything matches him just fine. 
probably from a long adventure and a long day. His name is GPAX. Hello over there in Belgium. Make sure you study hard, man. And thanks so much for enjoying the videos. And you got two hotel guests here. One is an older gentleman. Let's just call him Sean. Because Sean suffered through that last military video. We'll have to suffer in this one as a guest in a hotel room. Or maybe not, maybe you're enjoying this hotel room. There you are, Sean, looking nice and old. You got a man bun there. How cool is that? You got this lady wearing purple, she looks fine. So the printing on this lady is okay, nothing wrong with it, it's very classy. And this is Yang Zheng, there you go. Yes, I suffer a lot through some of these videos, but as long as I can make you laugh, there you go. So there you are, as another hotel guest. For the roadhouse. So here's the horsey, the head moves. The back leg moves, kapow, kapow, kapow. They did put a little saddle in there and they put something on top. I'm not sure if that's just like goods inside, but you can't really fit the minifigure in there. It has a little bit of a holster there on the side too. But hey, go into the stable. It's dimension time, just so you guys know. 32 by 32, it is a 32 by 32 base plate. How convenient. Both the width and the length. There you go. Will fit into your new Chinatown once you buy all the series. And for the height, here's my height stick using the one by four bricks on top of each other. It is exactly 29 bricks in height, just touching the tip of that. So if you take a 32 by 32 and you get some one by fours and measure it like that, there you go, there's your height. So that's it you guys, Zingbao's Roadhouse Hotel. It's available on brickmeupscotty.com with the other two sets too. They are in stock in the office until next time, you guys, break me out. This set comes with a horse and a couple minifigures, and I forgot to bring them to the office. Ah, I always do this to myself. I get so excited to film for you guys. I'm like, I've left them at home. I have found you, finally. Sorry guys, I don't have time for this today. You're gonna have to wait. Dear and Scotty, go check out this place because we have no time. I gotta go do the next video. Come on, do continue that adventure next time. Hello, thanks Scotty saved us. Thank you so much. Oh, we got a little bit of a break. Well, Scotty's so busy, he doesn't have time to do a mini adventure. So let's just give you a tour of the place, huh? Follow me. Here's the front of the door. As you can see, it's got some beautiful doors there. Look at them doors. And on the side here, we have the stable. Hi, Mr. Horsey. <laughs> Sorry, I can't understand you. And there's a guy hanging out on the staircase. But just to show you guys the scale to the minifigures. Not too bad yet. Yeah? At least you can walk up and down the stairs. So inside here, it's a little bit tight. But you can fit a couple of minifigures here on the chair. And you can have some tea. Admire the painting on the wall. And this part of the lobby, it's a little bit hard to get the minifigure inside there. But at least you can fit someone there to welcome your guests. This is the first room, so you can see it's really tight. There's the swordsman guy hanging out in there. He can barely move inside, but at least you can maybe get two minifigures in this room. Okay, let's go upstairs. And here are the two rooms upstairs. You know what? Forget it. These rooms are so freaking tight. There's no way you can fit inside there. The worker's just cleaning there. Let's go to the balcony. Ah, ooh, the balcony's actually kind of spacious. Hey, Scotty, what are you doing here? Yo, dear, I'm just waiting for our next adventure. Right. Well, we gotta go. We gotta jump into the next set. Yeah, we'll catch you guys later. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click the bell to get more notifications on new videos. Until next time, bye-bye now. See you guys.